Hello everybody, welcome back to WandaVision. Today we're on episode four. Last episode left on an absolutely massive cliffhanger. I got no idea where this thing is going and apparently that uh, black woman, she's in some other Marvel stuff. I had no idea about that. I'm sorry, I forget her name. But um, yeah, so she was zoomed on out of that uh, television dimension. And so we got some Truman Show going on here. We've got some Call of Duty Black Ops secretive mission files going on here. We've got all sorts of stuff going on, and I cannot wait to see where it all goes. Also, I'm sure you've noticed a different background. I just uh, have something hung up because I'm working on another project that requires that. So please ignore that in the meantime. Without further ado, WandaVision, Episode 4. Okay, so we seem to be in present time. Did she just get like reverse snapped? Is that what we're picking up off? Wow, okay. Yo, let's go. Okay, this is a sick opening. This is sick. What a great way to open the episode. Your mom, she died, honey. Oh yeah, cause it's been four years. Dude, this is so cool. So now we can actually understand what what happened as the people came back and were snapped back into existence. Okay, that was a sick cold opening. Okay, I don't know much about this sword company, but this is our first scene, like, in present day, like, full on. There's no easy way to say this, but you're grounded. I'm sorry, what? Terrestrial missions only. <laughs> you're kidding. For how long? Wh wh whose protocol is this? Your mother's. What? Implemented guidelines in the event if someone who's adept with Marvel, just tell me who this woman is or like what she's in or if she's been in a film that I need to watch. If you want me to watch it, let me know in the comments. I'll do a reaction video, perhaps. Westview, okay. Bro, what? This is so cool and interesting. Oh, this guy's sick. He's in a lot of stuff. He's Asian Jim in the office. Sort of selective amnesia. This isn't a missing persons case, Captain Rambo. It's a missing town. Population 3,892. This is really cool. The whole town's just desolate and empty. Yo, this is sick. Ah, uh -huh. So, when things, like, cross through this dome is it, it turns like is that the helicopter that turned into lego or so it like goes down and transforms into another dimension yo who is doing this then i thought it would have been the fbi who was doing it They're not the FBI, but I thought it would have been the American government running these experiments or something. Captain Rambo. Watch it. Rambo. Captain Rambo. Captain Rambo. And that's how Geraldine gets sucked in there. Okay, here we are. So this looks like the place where Geraldine got launched out. Dude, this is so sick. Oh shit, so stuff's just going in. Ms. Lewis, what kind of data are you getting? I'm afraid that's highly classified. True. We can't see anything. Huh. Well, then why do they keep sending them? Not flat. 
Yo. Now this is getting straight up interesting. These doors will take you straight into town. Try to find anything you can on Rambo. Stop it up. Oh, so they can go under the town and up through it. <laughs> My bad. Anytime I hear Quantico, I just think of uh, Silence of the Lambs. You're one of Crawfords, aren't you? Okay, they're watching the first episode. That's what I was saying. What am I looking at? You. What is this? Where is this coming from? Out there. You just asked me to get my equipment registered an extremely high level of EMDR. That's relic radiation dating back to the Big Bang. Yeah. This is cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. So you're saying I wonder if they watch my reaction videos. And it all comes back around. Mr. And Mrs. Hart, played by Todd and Sharon Davis. How'd you get so fast? I know we've been processing the Agent Wu. You're like a walking computer. Avi lost Tandon as Norm. Dude, this is so cool. There she is. She seem okay to you? Well, she doesn't appear to be harmed in any way, but that is definitely not the boss lady I met yesterday. I mean, she's literally trapped in a television show. Like, like a retro version of a sword throne? Bingo. But how did it change and why? Just go with the production design? Or render it useless? Yeah, I mean, really production design. Why'd you colorize it? I didn't. Let's cut the show on the road. That's straight up interesting too. Wanda, Wanda, can you read me? Over. Wanda, can you hear me? I'm here to help. Please, please, Wanda. How did it happen? Did it like spin out of Wait. What? I don't know. Feeling at home. Kind of weird. It was weird. It like freeze frame glitched. What do they have to say about the Hydra ads? That's who's doing it, Hydra. And that's the B guy. How did I not know that? How did that dingbat not just realize what he did? Skipping rope, that's what they decided to use. Let's go! You want me? Heck, I thought about it for sure. A little she means the snacks. A tiny little FBI badge. Oh, you took a chip? Sure. <laughs> Did she just say the name Ultron? Has that happened before? She broke character. Was it Wanda who did that? True. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at those. And, aha! You're not my neighbor. So. You're definitely not my friend. What? You are a stranger. And an outsider. Right now, you are trespassing here. So, is Wanda the one controlling this somehow? Yeah! Ah! 
Well, that was fucking crazy. Is Wanda so traumatized by the events of Infinity War that she's created a fictional reality for herself? That's my new running theory. I've just cracked the code. That's my theory. Wanda is so traumatized by Infinity War and the blip that she created a reality for herself to live in as a happy woman. This would be a great spot to end the episode, the same as last. So she left, honey. She had to rush home. What? What is it? What's wrong? We don't have to stay here. No, we can't. This is our home. Are you sure? Oh, don't worry, darling. I have everything under control. She has everything under control. She controls it all. Mm-hmm. Yep. I fucking told you! I fucking knew it! <laughs> oh, let's go! It's four in the morning, so I'm gonna make this fucking quick, baby. That was the sickest episode of this show they've done. This show has gone from, like... Fun sitcom to intriguing mystery to downright intelligent, man. That is so sick. Scarlet Witch is a baller, and I am invested in this shit, bro. That is so good. It's bedtime for me, baby. Have a good night, guys, or good morning, whenever this gets uploaded. Let's go!